young woman burned by acid. Her horrific experience prompts dozens of women to learn how to defend themselves. Tonight, they turn off for a fundraiser for Bethany Storer. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. Her story made national attention, but as KT's Megan Cockstein joins us to explain, Storer has surprisingly said no thank you to a big upcoming appearance, Meg. Yeah, according to our news partners at the Columbian, Storer canceled an appearance on the Oprah Winfrey show. There's been internet chatter raising theories about what actually happened to her, but police say they have no reason to doubt her story. Now, we were not allowed inside of tonight's fundraiser, but dozens of women came out to to support Storo. I think it indicates that you never can feel completely safe anymore. The image of 28-year-old Bethany Storo after she says a complete stranger threw acid on her face is hard to forget. Oh, the most, oh, you don't even know. It was the most painful thing. Like I told everybody, my heart stopped. I almost passed out. Her story hit the national spotlight and was a wake-up call to Marilyn Thompson. I would hope that I would be able to react fast enough to do something to help myself, but I don't know. I don't really know. That's why she and several other women came to Storo's Vancouver gym called Anytime Fitness. They signed up for a seminar on self-defense that also raised money for Storo's medical bills. To help support her, but also to gain um, insight as to how I can better protect myself should I be confronted in, in a similar situation. But in a new move, according to K2 News partners at the Columbian, Storo canceled an upcoming appearance on the Oprah Winfrey show. They say her decision to back out came amidst speculation her wounds were self-inflicted. Police though tell K2 they have no reason to doubt her story. She's doing better and she's amazing. Storo's mother and father came to the fundraiser. They wouldn't answer any questions but said their family is strong and their daughter is improving. If anything Bethany is going to become stronger from this and even a better person. Uh, people love her and people will continue to love her and we're just so proud of her. The owners of that gym said about 40 women signed up tonight, meaning they would have raised about $800 for Storo's medical bills. Storo, though, did not show up for that fundraiser. We were told that she simply wasn't up to it. But again, her father said that they're a strong family and they're just going to keep pressing on. Well, the self-defense moves always good for, for women to know in any situation. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Bottom line, thank you.